What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we got some inside mods. And by that, I mean doing the instrument cluster. Dash cluster, the dash, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it. But that's what we got going on today. Going to be updating it, making it modern, adding some LEDs, changing out the needles. So without any further ado, let's take a look at what the dash looks like stock and then tear into it. So as you can see, here's our dash at the moment. I'm going to be replacing the bulbs and the needles. And you can also replace the overlay to change how it looks, but I'm not going to be doing that right now. But let's see how it looks turned on during the day. That's what it looks like during the day at the run. As you can see, all the gauges work. Temp hasn't moved yet because I just turned it on in the morning. But you can see that they all work. Now let's jump into it. First things first, you want to remove anything from your dash cover here, your trim, because that's going to come off. So I got to take off that, my beautiful girlfriend, and probably just move this wire out the way. Also, you got to pull down your steering wheel to be able to get the dash out. Right here is my lever to move it up or down. So I'm just gonna pull that and push down all the way. To do the overlay, all you gotta do is really get behind here where this crease is, the seam, the seam, and just pull back. You could just screwdriver if you're strong enough, you could just use your, use your fingers. But somehow that's got to come out, just like that. So now all we got to do is take out these four seven millimeter screws in each corner there there right there and up here and then the dash can come out so now that's done we can pull out our dash all you gotta do is grab it Kind of tricky. Wow. You can see that. Right here, there's a plug that we need to undo to pull it out. I right, just got this blue tab, both sides. Wiggle and pull. Okay, so to remove this back piece. All you gotta do is get these tabs, like with a screwdriver, just get underneath them and pry up a little bit, not too much. And then just put a little bit of pressure behind, pushing it out. And I would say just hold it till the next one and then continue. I'm gonna start on the bottom because there's less. Once they pop, you know that they're good. And then the back plate comes off. Now you can get to all of the bulbs. All these are bulbs. And to take them out, you just grab one, twist, and they come right out. I got all new little plates along with LED bulbs. So all I'm going to do is grab one, push them in, 
and then put it back in. So for needles, you gotta take off the front face. It's just right here. All you gotta do is push in and then push out. Now I don't have a special tool for this, so I'm just gonna use a fork and paper towel just to get underneath it and to and all you do is pry up as you can see then they come out now for needles i got these white ones so then to do put them on Remember how they went? You want it barely touching the right there. Now, if you wanted to remove this overlay, this black part, take off all the needles. And it's just peelable. You just grab it from any corner and you just rip it right off. Now that's done. Uh, just put on your over your your cover, and then you're good to go. Just snaps right on. Okay, so after numerous attempts, they the lights LEDs are polarity sensitive, so it matters which way they go in, and you figured it out. You figure that out by pretty much trial and error. You gotta plug it in, see if it works. If it doesn't, you gotta flip it and then just so on and so on. But all my lights work now. The gauges are set. Now all that's left is to put it back in and button her up. So let's go ahead and do that. And you're just going to do that the exact same way you took it out. Plug it in. To the back. Put in those four screws. And then just throw the trim on. So as you guys can see, it lights up. Turn it on. All those turn on. My gauges move. Both of my blinkers. High beams. All works fine. Oil pressure's at 40, that's where it usually runs. Gotta change my oil, but RPMs, five, 600. Hasn't even warmed up yet, so I'll figure that out, but I'm sure it's fine, I've seen it move. 14 volts, where it usually runs at. I was at a quarter tank, or just above. So yeah, as you can see, it all works. All right, so it's nighttime. And as you can see, dash is lit up. Kind of looks Star Wars, which I love Star Wars, so that's pretty cool. But as you can see, LEDs in, and you got the needles that are white. Pretty cool looking combo. But as you can see, all the gauges are working. All lights up, all is good. Pretty happy with it. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.